Another case where addition shows up in the real world is in finding the perimeter of a figure. And the term perimeter just means the distance around, how far it is around the figure. If the figure is made of straight line segments, it would just be a matter of adding up the lengths of all the sides. So in this example, if we're told to find the perimeter, we can start anywhere we want and we just go all the way around. I'm going to start down here in, the, in this corner and I'm going to go around this figure um, basically clockwise. So we have 10 and then 3 and 6 and 4 and 4 and 7. So the perimeter of the figure would be 10 plus 3 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 7. And notice that all of these are in feet. So this 10 is really 10 feet. And that 3 is 3 feet. And the same with all the others. So my answer will be in feet. Now how can I add these up? Let's uh, just look for some, some numbers that add up nicely. There's a 3 and a 7. That gives me a 10. Well, let's first get this 10 right here. 10. And then the 3 and the 7. That's another 10. And the 6 and the 4 is another 10. And then that 4 right there is an additional 4. So you can see that's 34 feet. 34 feet is the perimeter of that figure, the distance all the way around. Here's another example. This one's pretty simple. Find the perimeter of this figure. This is a trapezoid. But the perimeter, regardless of the shape, is the distance around the figure, or the sum of the lengths of all the sides. So in this case, it does, again, it doesn't matter where we start and which direction we go, but we pick a starting point and we go around the figure. So in this case, if I start at this point and go around it this way, the perimeter ends up being 5 meters plus 4 meters plus 4 meters plus 7 meters. And I can add all those together because they're all meters. And again, I find this easier to add in pieces. 5 and 4 is 9, and 7 and 4 is 11. And you might see that 9 and 11 add up to 20. So 20 meters is the answer.